I just love this one. I would just say, go ahead and go smell it. Go smell it, blind buy it, okay? I'm giving you the BD guarantee. It actually guarantees you nothing. But I feel like I have to say it. Hello friendos and welcome back to my channel. I am BD and if this is your first time here, hey girl, you look cute. And if you are a returning viewer, a subscriber to the BD Presents channel, what's goodie? You know I had to come back with another one, especially now that we are officially in the fall season, okay? That means the leaves are changing, they're falling, the temperatures are dropping. Okay, and we have to get nice and cozy and cozy. And also we have to make sure that we give God the praise from bringing us from one season until the next, okay? So we pray for abundance, we pray for good health, we pray for peace of mind, and we pray for those around us, and we leave the rest in God's hands, okay? And we get into these things, these small little things that bring us joy, okay? Now you see what happens when you are a subscriber to the BD Presents channel. You get a bit of an elevated, elongated greeting, okay? And I want that for all of you, but you're gonna have to go ahead and hit that subscribe. I would love to have you here, okay? So that the next time you see the video and it pops up and you click on it and you hear the greeting and you get the little vibe, the little extra elongated, elevated vibe, you're like, yes, that's for me. But yes, now that we got all of that out of the way, chill out, friendos. Okay, today I am back with a video, a Bath and Body Works video, and it is a part two to a video I did a couple of years ago talking about my favorite fall wallflower scent or refill scents for the season, okay? I'm excited because, yes, it's been a minute since I've done this type of video for fall, and there are some new things on the horizon that I picked up and that I want to talk about in addition to my favorites from year to year for fall for the Wallflower Refill plugins, okay? So without further ado, let's jump right on in. So the last time that they had a, a Wallflower Refill plugin uh, promo, I was like, let me get on that and go ahead and shop the fall scents as well as some of the newer fall scents that I was unfamiliar with, but I wanted to try some new things. So we're gonna get right on into that. So, okay, let's start with some new ones. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is this apricot and green fig scent. The category for this is fruity and happy, which is not traditionally a category that I would choose for fall. I'm usually the, I think it's called like, fresh and relaxing category, that's usually my bag. But you know, they wanna try something new. And they had the candle for this scent in the store and it was very beautifully packaged. And when I smelled it, I was like, this is a very nice. So I was like, let me go ahead and try the wallflower refill. So the scent notes for this one are apricot, sandalwood, and creamy coconut. Now you know, if you've been here, that I love me some sandalwood, okay? So that's a no-brainer for me. So I've already smelled this, like I said, in the store. I checked out the candle, but just gonna do a little refresh since I have it here in the wall that I refill. So let's get into that. <sighs> wow, it is very fruity. I, but it's a fall fruity. It's not a summery berry fruity, which we know they are very heavy handed with the berry over there, Bath and Body, okay? Which, hey, I don't mind it, but it can be very heavy with the berry. This is not that. I almost get like an apple something from it. They said there's some coconut here. Maybe, I'm not picking that up. The sandalwood I do pick up, so, but it's nice. It's a nice balance, it's nice and soft. Let me see if they mention anything about green fig on the website, because it's not on the tag for this wallflower refill, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But I smell a little figgy moment, so. They're missing a note on the tag 
For the refill, the fragrance notes on the site say apricot, sandalwood, lush fig, and creamy coconut. I was gonna say, I smell a little figgy, a little figgy moment here with that apricot. You know what? I am picking up that coconut and it is creamy. It's just a very interesting fruity scent. It's it's lush, like they mentioned with the fig. For me, that lush is, like I said, it's not fruity in your berry or citrus kind of theme. It's not that. The core here is rich and kind of like luxe from that apricot sandalwood. Very interesting notes actually to pair together. It's gonna be very nice and refreshing, I feel like, in your home. If you like a sweet scent for fall, but you're not a gourmand person, much like myself, I would say go ahead and try this one out. So that's apricot and fig. I also wanna go ahead and pick up green fig. I also wanna pick up the candle because like I said, it's very beautiful. But yes, very nice scent there. Let's get into the next scent. The one I'm gonna talk about is also, I think this one is new. It's called Walk in the Woods. The category for this one is fresh and relaxing, which as I mentioned is my bag. So the notes for Walk in the Woods are forest cedarwood, crisp patchouli, and dark peppercorns. Now typically, I'm not a patchouli fan at all, but in this one, I felt like it was pretty interesting and not like heavily patchouli'd out because I wouldn't have liked that. But, oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is gonna give you your masculine lead or masculine forward scent to me. If you're not new to my channel, you know that that is also my vibe. I like the sweater weathers. I like the flannels. I like the peppered suede for fall. I like all of those deep, rich, outdoorsy, earthy scents. I love those. And they're fresh and to me very relaxing, okay? It's like a nice strong man is around. And we love that. But anyway, this smells so good that I would actually like it in the body here. I would want a lotion of this. I don't know what note it is that, and I love a little pepper note too. I love pepper <laughs> in uh, my fragrances. But cedarwood, love that. Patchouli? The patchouli is there, but like I said, it's not crazy. For me, what I'm smelling is that cedar wood. So it's gonna, like I said, put you in the mind of a sort of weather or crisp morning air. Not really, because that one's a little fruity. It's gonna give you like a, a fresh fall morning vibe. It's gonna give you sweater weather. It's gonna give you a toned down flannel, because flannel is very strong. I love her. Him. I love it. But it's very strong. This is a very nice, fresh, outdoorsy, woody scent. I like it. Next up, I'm talking about this Mountain Teakwood, also something that I think might be new. The notes for Mountain Teakwood are Chris Mountain Air, Rich Teakwood, and Fresh Eucalyptus. And the category is fresh and relaxing, okay? Ooh, mm. ooh. Okay, so on first initial sniff, it's like a eucalyptus version of crisp morning air to me. A eucalyptus, you know, they sneak eucalyptus into a lot. And I'm typically not a fan. But here, it's definitely getting that fresh vibe. It's still got that woody element from the teak wood and from, oh yeah, so it's fresh from the mountain air that lightens it up a bit. It's not so eucalyptus that you feel like you have like an aromatherapy, eucalyptus and peppermint tea something candle, but it's there to give you that freshness. The air note kind of lightens it up a bit and it's still woody. So if you want a mm, spa day kind of fall spa day moment, I would say go for this one, okay? It's probably gonna warm pretty strong, so it's gonna be on the stronger side, but I love it. I believe those are all of the new scents that I tried, but now I wanna talk about some favorites of mine that I picked up from my recent haul, starting with the one that I have, I mean, I rave about, I have to have it. It's right up there for me with, in the summertime, VG White Sands, which is Chef's Kiss, and that's gonna be Autumn Woods. Goat level scent for fall. 
it's in the warm and comforting category. So not typical for me, but it has become a favorite of mine. It's in my top 10 of all time home fragrances for Bath or from Bath and Body Works. Love this one. And so happy to see it return year after year. Please never take it away. I would be devastated, okay? The notes for it are a dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. <sighs> Words cannot express. Now see, the complicated thing is that it's still we have some warm days out. For me, this is a cooler temperature scent. So if you live in a climate where you get fall temperatures, this is gonna be the way to go, okay? When that 60 degree day hits and you got a couple of autumn woods in, or even if you have the candle, this is gonna set the vibe, okay? Having a nice bowl of soup, nice cozy blanket, movie, fresh pop popcorn, okay? Yes. I love it. Okay, so what does it smell like? <laughs> Although lavender is mentioned here, it's so beautifully done. Lavender was also in white t-shirt. And for me, that's lavender too much. Like, team too much lavender. It was just like, in your face. Like, no. This one is like very mellow lavender. Lavender's in the library. And it's not making any noise. Following roots, but it's there. I really just don't know how to describe it at all other than it's great. <laughs> I really don't know. Let me see what the description is on their website. It says, a fall stroll through an enchanted forest. Yeah, I just love this one. I would just say, go ahead and go smell it. Go smell it. Blind by it, okay? I'm giving you the BD guarantee. It actually guarantees you nothing. But I feel like I have to say it because I just really love the scent. I will vouch for it year after year. It's amazing. So definitely one of my favorites. Right up there with sweater weather. You know I love me some sweater weather. I never get it in the wallflower refill. It's a strong scent that I just prefer in a candle form. So I have several candles that I always keep on hand throughout the fall and winter. But I highly recommend it for the fall. Great scent. Preferably in a candle, but try it in the wall for a refill as well. Goat, okay? The next one that is a true staple for fall, and I actually mentioned it, I believe, in my previous video. This is the thumbnail for that one. I will link it in the description box below and in the cards above so you can watch it at your leisure later on. But yes, so that's gonna go ahead and be crisp morning air. So we have mountain teak wood which had crisp mountain air and then we have crisp morning air also in that fresh and relaxing category love that one so much i always tend to lean toward that category the notes for this are fresh pine juniper and juicy pear oh it's so good this is a great scent to me this is a great introduction to bath and body works refills this is a scent that I would recommend to anyone. I love it. It's just It does smell like a very, a crisp 50 degree fall day, okay? The bluest of skies, okay, not a cloud in sight. And the leaves have changed, they're golden, like that golden yellow color. You see some oranges, some variations of red, okay, some deep greens. All right, you got your nice little sweater on, little peacoat. Little peacoat moment or navy peacoat and then you got your crisp morning air okay you might be going to a little apple picking that day might be going to a nice little fall brunch you know what i mean who knows but it's gonna be a lovely day because it's crisp morning air just wafting and wafting and lifting through the house i love this one so much it's pine but it's fruity from that pear so i recommend this if you are a person that likes fresh and relaxing you want to do something strong but maybe not too strong go ahead and try crisp morning air okay and last but certainly not least on this list is going to be cozy cashmere it's in the warm and comforting category as was the autumn woods the notes for Cozy Cashmere are smooth lavender, warm vanilla, pink jasmine, and comforting sandalwood. One of the ones, okay? 
one of the ones, if you are, you know, you don't like the fresh relaxer, that's not your vibe. And I love you still, you know what I mean? But I get it, that just may not be your vibe, you know what I mean? You might be like, you know, I want some more warm, a little soft, a little girl, you know what I mean? I get it. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and recommend Miss Cozy Cash because she don't miss, okay? Oh, this smells so good. I think they have this in laundry detergent at uh, Bath & Body Rex or in the scent boosters. I haven't tried the laundry products, but I would be interested in trying this. I think this would smell great, not only as home fragrance, but throw blankets, throw pillow covers, things like that. Amazing, right? Rugs, if you have washable rugs, go ahead. You know what I mean? It's the jasmine and sandalwood. I don't really get too much of the vanilla, but the lavender is there. They did the lavender similarly. So to me, Autumn Woods and Cozy Cashmere are like cousins. The lavender is present, but it's not like you would traditionally think of lavender. So it's not super floral, but it's there. It's just like quintessential warm, cozy, sophisticated. This is a very sophisticated scent. I love Cozy Cashmere, so if you are one of those people that want something a little bit more luxe for your home fragrance, definitely recommend this. If you have like, if your aesthetic is like creams and browns and you know, neutral tones, this gonna do. Go ahead and go with the Cozy Cashmere. Even if that's not your aesthetic, I highly recommend it. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which of these scents is a favorite of yours, which one is new to you and you're interested in trying, and if there's something that I didn't cover in this video that you just absolutely love and must have for fall, let me know in the comments below because I will definitely check it out, okay? But thank you again so much for watching. Be sure to peruse the channel. If you happen to see any other content that you like, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you so that next time, we do the breeding you're like yeah you know what i mean but yes thank you so much for watching once again god bless you and i will see you in my next video bye